の球技大会で行われるサバイバルゲームのメンバーを選出したいと思います。Alright, nine soldiers and one general, plus one optional tactician. Well, that went by surprisingly fast. Looks like a team of ten guys, all of whom claim to have some experience playing airsoft before. I had a feeling they might. Most of those dudes are total gun nuts. They always spend lunch in their own little clique. When they all shot up out of their seats to volunteer, though, you can almost feel the rest of the class's collective buttholes clench. Not that I blame them. I mean, these are the dudes who wear camo undershirts every day and love to go around showing off their dog tags to each other. Wouldn't be surprised if half the kids here suspect them of plotting a s Jesus. Like with most unusual hobbies, there's a lot of stereotyping and misconceptions about this sort of thing. The average person has a pretty hard time understanding why guns would appeal to anyone but psychopaths. Hopefully this event will prove to them that their prejudices were unfound and that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, not likely. If nothing else though, there certainly are class's best shot at winning this thing. Resisting the urge to ask why she didn't just join Team A. Not sure if Madamachan forgot or was just too shaken up to think, but the agreement was that class rep's team has to win for our victory to count. So if Team A's got all our star players, you'd think she'd want to join with them to give Madamachan the best shot at winning the bet. But I'll keep my mouth shut. Obviously, she's smart enough to realize that herself. I can tell she really, really doesn't want, to, want me to point it out. I know class rep thinks I'm practically the devil, second only to Ayamine. But even I'm not cruel enough to throw her on a team with those testosterone riddled maniacs. I mean, she is technically a girl, but even if she doesn't act like one, that'd be, that wouldn't be very gentlemanly of me. Doubtful. Shogun, hear me. Hmm. Everyone can feel it. A team の選抜で我が B 組の戦力はすべて出し尽くしたというのが正直な。Right on the money。だがチームはもう一つ作らねばならない。そして勝利を収めるべく努力せねばならない。皆が悩んでいるようなので、助言として至極当然のことを一つ言わせた。Hey me with it boy。なんでしょうか。このゲームに転用できる能力を元から持ったものを採用すればいいのだ。え？例えば、足が速いものはどうだ戦場では戦力として非常に有効だ。そういう考え方をすると、見えてくる。カシュワギーは絶対にチームで、彼女はバスケットボールの選手です。もちろん、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、彼女は絶対にメイヤー、That actually makes a lot of sense. Of course. Just like with Lacrosse, when she's like, you know what, I want to try it. Uh, you sure about the dude? I don't think this is your kind of game. That's besides the point. I'm telling you to stay in your lane. You don't think you're athletic enough for something this intense? He's asking for people with existing skills, of which you have none. <laughs> Bullshit. Ah <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> See, told ya. Of course, Miki's got her archery training. <laughs> no, you probably don't want to do this either, Tama. Damn right. Oh, snap. Uh, Maya, you do realize what you're volunteering for, right? Ah, gotcha. Whoa, 
Seriously? Oh. Oh. <laughs> of course. ね、やどうよ。射撃の足並みは。気候は対象として採用する。ああ。もう対象ですか。しかし私のような右も左もわからぬ素人が心配は無用。ルールは覚えればよい。重要なのは資質。気候には対象としての器がある。the hell? Dude, I think something's wrong with our new teacher. あ、だから、ゆうさんにだけは様子が変だったよね。私もやります。先生、文化祭の雪辱を晴らしましょう。貴様は柏木3年生だったか。はい。バスケ部でポイントガードをやっていました。なるほど。司令塔か。体力も視
Yeah, I mean, sir. Huh? Why me? <laughs> like, you, you were gonna drive. How do you know? Definitely wasn't planning on it. Yeah. Okay, how's he gonna rub cast me into this? Um, okay. I don't know, sir. Rest assured that I'll do everything in my power to lead Team B to victory, sir. Shut your mouth. She's gonna volunteer. <laughs> Are you completely brain dead? She'd be target numero uno, if anything. Wait, for real? She gets slaughtered out there. Right, because of her small stature. That too. I don't know, man. I feel like the moment she steps out in the field, it'll be a rabbit season. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, <laughs> Uh Yeah, I hear ya. So how about it, Kasumi? That's rich. Came from the girl who almost got us all killed. No, see, and then the meathead team is gonna get walking. We're gonna stuck with Madamo, aren't we? Oh, we get walking. Nice. <laughs> I really hit him with that pep talk, Marmo. Oh, damn. This is starting to feel pretty legit. <laughs> one... Oh, this is new music. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't be so excited if I were you. You learn very quickly that Spunk's not going to get you very far in the battlefield. Excuse you? Of course I do. You little shit. No idea. If I doubt it'll be anything too rough. <laughs> well, that's exactly why it's going to be so rough. I could totally see him trying to put us through some grueling boot camp regimen calling us maggots again. But I'd like to think the school wouldn't let that fly. Ha 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 ha. Especially considering that Yuko Sensei's propaganda about overcoming adversity was all complete bullshit. There's no excuse for him to make a team of mostly girls crawl through barbed wire or whatever. <laughs> Probably safe to assume that he's just gonna have us do some basic target practice. That'd be nice. Good stress reliever. Besides, if he actually put us through boot camp, there'd be no team left to field by the time the festival rolled around. We'd all be dead. 
To be honest, I'm more curious with what Yuko Sensei is discussing with Maya right now. Undoubtedly. What's up? No lacrosse today? <laughs> Why do I get the sneaking suspicion that something far more diabolical is going on beside the scenes here? You know, when you say you'll be holding me accountable, it kind of sounds like you're trying to shirk your own responsibilities as class representative. Just saying. <laughs> Since when? Ugh, I mean, yeah, I guess it would be my job to keep them in check, huh? Gee, never thought of it that way before. Oh, your closeness is actually kind of adorable. Eh. No. Please don't take that as a compliment. Akane! Oh, hey, Suzumiya. Oh, memorized all our names? It's crazy. You just study the yearbook or what? <laughs> and what's that supposed to up oh, hi? Can I help you? Huh, wait, how does she describe me? <laughs> Destined for unemployment, Jesus. Hey! <笑>それより部活はどうしたのよ。うん、これから行くけど、その前に高月先生に呼ばれてるんだよね。球技大会のことについてお話があるとかで。誰よ。三つるぎの妹さんのことだよね。あ、そこにいるのはお姉さんの
No way, you're our mascot. Here to raise morale. It's a very important job. <laughs> Damn, Skiji got some fucking bloodlust. Dude, it's fine. You have to keep apologizing. <laughs> Please. If I were that short-tempered, I'd have to transfer out of Class B. <laughs> what a strange girl. She seems so docile, and yet every once in a while she says some super aggressive shit. Maybe she's just one of those no-filter types. <laughs> See ya. Hell yeah, she is. I love Akane. You've got that right. Even just during that dumb little exchange, she had this intimidating aura about her. Yeah, apparently she's phenomenal. なるほど。勝負ごとに際しての緊張感や重圧をも楽しめるのでしょうね。手強いですわ。さすが三鶴木さん。鋭いわね。茜の精神力は波じゃない。特にここ一番の集中力はね。なるほど。Alright, then we'll just have to put a big black stain on her perfect record. What would in history as the kids who bested the world famous Suzumiya? Yes. Excuse me, you want to talk, you little. huh? Hey, come on, class rep. Don't start getting cold feet already. We're not giving up until we take on that trophy. Ain't that right? <laughs> Don't get too excited, it's Miss Handicap. Nani <laughs> yo!